Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave. Yeah, we're, I think we're sort of wrapping up into the last turns of the game here. We are making good progress towards our uh, science victory. We need to launch a moon landing and we are, we're getting there. We're going to build an encampment. See if we can hopefully manage to speed up construction of space program parts. No guarantee that that'll be uh, that that'll actually be worth it, but we'll give it a shot anyway, and we'll just we'll see what happens. At the end of the day, if we build an encampment and it doesn't end up, if it doesn't end up, uh, it doesn't end up shortening the time of construction. You know, the worst thing is is that we'll have gained an encampment, I suppose, and perhaps uh, wasted another couple of turns. I don't think we are in really any super major contention for winning. I mean, in culture, we're winning as well. Um, domination, if somebody decides to go absolutely bonkers, we might lose, but that's fine. Um, I am sort of a little bit concerned that the religious victory might, uh, might, might trigger before our victory. However, it's pretty much split right down the center. Paris. Isn't Paris on the mainland? Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Well, that's a little bit crazy. Also, we need to try and make sure that we don't uh, hit the good old Dark Age. That's not something that I really want to see happen. Let's just get everyone here to stay on alert. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to save up my pennies. Because otherwise, I'm not going to have enough to... Uh, to buy the buildings once we get the military encampment up and running. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll just keep you on alert as well. You on alert. Everyone is on alert. It's like that Oprah meme where, you know, she says, you get a house, you get a car, everyone gets a car. Let's do it. Great person activated. Perfect. And let's, uh, let's bump on over to the next turn. Who is converting over here? There is some theological warfare going on between, I think it's Japanese missionaries and Brazilian. I think that's, yep, Brazilian, Brazilian apostles. Well, Japanese missionaries are continuing to flood in. Roxburgh has been through so many religious changes that it's actually kind of bonkers. Yeah, there's been a heck of a lot of Heck of a lot of stuff going on in Roxburgh, that's for sure. It's a pity that none of the none of the people that I actually want to be friendly with are near me. They're all at the other side of the blooming world. Korea and uh, Arabia, all the way over here. It's just blooming far away. I want to get some research up and running, so uh, it's kind of a little bit difficult to do that. Also, it's a little bit of an annoyance that I can't get uh, own three tanks. Because I do have some tank armies. And if I could decor this tank army, then I think I'd be fine. Yeah, if we could de decor either one of these, uh, of these, of these cores, then, uh, then we'd be good. But unfortunately, that's not the way that it works. What is this? I don't know how we boost this, boosted this, but that's great. Happy with that. That's pretty nice. Um, let's just continue to get rid of the rainforest tiles and let's claim a great person a great scientist oh boy that's good news let's crush you do we get to claim another great person a great artist sure don't mind me where do i want to put a great artist i mean i do we have any work of art slots i don't even think we do all right well you'll go to sleep for now Os seus melhores engenheiros e arquitetos seriam mais felizes em um lugar onde pudessem crescer. Yeah, okay, thanks for that. That's a bit of a... Por exemplo. That's your cast and some shade there, buddy. But don't worry. Your recruitment of great people is becoming a real problem. Oh, no. All right, well, I'm going to have to start moving an army up there. Just because I don't really want that to become a real problem. Right, let's move you over here. And let's trigger an effect. Robotics, nuclear fusion, and lasers. Let me have a look. See if uh, any of those are particularly 
important. Nuclear fusion, that's pretty darn good. Lasers as well, that's also really, really darn good. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 and robotics as well. All right, that is great. That is really, really great. Cool, all right. Next turn. We need to get the encampment done. We need to just get as much money as we possibly can. We save the money to build all of the buildings in the encampment so that Glasgow can go right back to building, uh, to building spaceship parts. Also, we'll just keep the mechanized inventory around, you know, the bottom of the map here, just to wipe out some, uh, some barbarians whenever, whenever it's required, which is always good. Because, of course, since we're trying to get some, some buildings, I think it's a military academy that we want to get in Glasgow on the encampment in order to boost the, the spaceship construction. We're going to need to save up. We're going to need to save up our money. We're not going to be able to afford any upgrades for now. So the modern armor uh, and the modern AT unit, uh, we're going to have to hold off on both of those. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get the the uh, the Eureka effect, build an aerodrome or an airstrip on a foreign continent. That's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, great. I do not know what is what was stealth technologies. Boost through a great scientist or a spy. Didn't realize that that was a thing that we could do. But anyway, that's that means that we're not going to get a, uh, a dark era in a couple of turns, which I must say is a great relief. So that is quite nice. Mechanized inventory is available for promotion. Good stuff. We'll collect a little bit of money as well. Beautiful. Um, let's choose some production. Not a whole bunch of stuff that I actually really want to, to build. I don't really feel the need to build any more units. Food market or a shopping mall. We'll build a food market, sure. That seems like a relatively easy thing to do. Still don't understand how we managed to boost, boost uh, stealth technology, but that's okay. And let's also choose some production at Scone. An aquarium! Yes, absolutely. Send an envoy. Well, one of our... Um, I was going to say, I thought, I thought Babylon had given up on us, but apparently not. It was you that had given up on us. Yes, I recall. And um, we've got three envoys to send. Let's send two envoys right over there. That'll bump you up to six. Uh, then let's bump Stockholm up by like one. Even though the chances of us ever occupying Stockholm are... Uh, I say occupying Stockholm, you know what I mean. Becoming the Caesarean. Chances are slim. Yeah, so this boat is coming all the way back. That's going to take a, a good long time. But when it does come back, we might think about upgrading it. Uh, let's remove the rainforest. Good stuff. Still more religious warfare going on. That's okay. This is okay. This is this is fine. Fine by my standards. If if uh, if if they want to fight it out on the outskirts of the town, that's fine by my books. It's still unconverted though, unbelievably. Oh yes, we actually do need to make sure that we're moving units up here. I don't want to. I don't want to be caught off guard. Yeah. Also, I feel like maybe we should get some planes after we've got a battleship armada constructed. Uh, I'm gonna make the effort to go and build some planes. I'm also gonna take my battleships around to this side. Uh, we're to that side of the map. We want to make sure that we're not caught off guard with our with our battleships in uh, in a bad position. It is obvious that while science is struggling to bring heaven to earth. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, and another great person. I must say, I I do feel very very lucky at the moment. Uh, sure. Transfer you up here. And. I mean, it's not like we can really build anything. Great works of art slot, 25 turns to build the Hermitage. I mean, we might we might be done in 25 turns, truthfully. Um, let's get an, an aquarium. Sure. And then in Glasgow, we want to get a military academy. So, 270 gold for a barracks. How much is it going to cost us for a military academy? It requires an armory. Uh, we might be able to afford it... We might be able to afford it now. Let me have a look. So an armory. 
and then a military academy. That is absolutely perfect. So if we go and choose production now, because I do believe if we have a little look at our, uh, d -d 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 where is it? Government tab right there. Uh, plus 15% production towards space-based project if a city has either a military academy or a seaport. Great, that's really, really good. It's only going to take us 14 turns to launch the um, to launch the moon landing. Let's do it. Plus three era score. I mean, a bit late, bit late for that now, but that's kind of nice. City is starving. Really? Why? Why is why is that starving? Doesn't particularly matter. But hey ho, go for a battle cry there. Five turns away from a food market, so it's not like it's going to be starving for long. It's probably because I, uh, probably because I cleared the rainforest, I would guess. That's fine, though. We can always, we can always fix that up. I'm not particularly worried about that. Alright, good. Ships are moving in. We have two boats. We have two boats here, which I would like to... I would actually like to take around to this area. His capital isn't on the... No, unfortunately his capital is not on the coast. I will take that deal. That's a great deal for me and a terrible deal for you. But that's fine. Cleared land for Big Dad for the Venetian arsenal. I mean, that's fine. I'm not really that bothered about it. Also, if Mr. Congo does decide to go to war with me, he will have to put up with about 50, 50 pike and shot, another 50 crossbowmen, another 50 musketmen, all from our little allies down here. Shockingly, I'm surprised that no one has decided to attack them yet. Um, yeah. Let's get you guys up here. There we go. Perfect. Builder, um, well, let's go back here and we'll get the builder to build uh, a farm. If Aberdeen is indeed starving. Oh, it looks like there's another barbarian camp up here. Oh, there's an AT crew there. Interesting. Alright, there we go. The machine guns seem to do the job. Still a decisive victory. Nice. 12 turns from the moon landing, and boy oh boy, I could not be more excited. 8 turns away from the Manhattan Project. There we go. Thank you very much. I do love a bit of uh, great music. Also, still no idea where this uranium is coming from. Um, so, that is what it is, I guess. I mean, I, there's not much I can really do about that. I do know where there is one bit of uranium. There's one bit of uranium all the way up here. Now, maybe it would be worth us taking that city and then just buying the uranium tile. In fact, that's a pretty darn good idea since it's now lost ownership. World enters the atomic era. Ooh, spooky. I've entered it normally, but that's okay. Uh, plus one era score, each artifact extracted, no... Each aerodrome building constructed, each time a great person is earned, gain one year. Uh, sure, we'll take sky and stars. Yeah, sure. Also, let's get the boats up here. I'll get the frigate to come up there as well, even though it's going to take a little bit of time. And then I want to get the destroyer, which is going to be the key for this whole operation. 13 turns to get up there. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Alright, you, I want you to counter spy in Aberdeen. And you, I would love to build a... I mean, an improved farm, is that is that really the best that we can do in this location right here? Eh, I feel like I don't really want to do that. I'd like to build a mine here. That seems to be much more worthwhile. Okay, it does not look like there's any free musician slots over there. A few free uh, great works of music slots, so that's fine. 
let's see what we can do. There's honestly not much that we can do. The Bolshoi Theater, great works of writing. Hermitage. You know what? Let's build a hermitage. At the end of the day, if we do end up not managing to complete it, it's not the end of the world. We'll uh, we'll cope. And oh goodness, there really is nothing that I really want to build in Edinburgh. You know what? Build a build a sewer. That's about the only darn thing that you can really build. There we go. Move the troops in. This this bad boy is just on. It's just on barbarian patrol all day long. And let me tell you, I love it. Gaining a little bit of experience here and there. Siphoned 888 gold from Aberdeen. Well, that's why we have two spies. Or we will have two spies in Aberdeen fairly shortly. I just... Uh, da, da, da. We need to keep... The problem is that we need to keep two spies in Aberdeen at the absolute minimum, right? Because we need to make sure that we have... We need to make sure that we have one doing... Uh, counter spies in the main city so that we're not getting rebels rising up and we also need to make sure that we're getting um, people in the commercial district so that we're not having money stolen from us because that's apparently what matters all right good one of our trade routes is finished up so that's fine more theological warfare which seems to take forever for some reason why have you got a great artist over there that that a great musician even that does not make sense um sure let's just let's just do food let's sort by gold and the best trade route from glasgow is apparently washington um i think that there is there is better that we can do truthfully yep there is better than we can do than that, but maybe I'll get you to transfer city. I'll get you to transfer city to, um, where is it that, no, it's governors. Here we go. It's you that gives us, yeah, plus three gold per turn from each foreign exchange route passing through the city. So for that reason, Sterling should be like our, our hub of foreign city trades, but I don't think it is at the moment. Doesn't particularly matter though. Let's get you transferred to Sterling because I might actually set up a trade route to. Oh look! Here we go. Let's go for another crushing defeat. We are farming the money. Holy cow! This is great. Okay, so get that done. That's good, and then. Yeah, that'll be fine. Launch Mars Hydroponics. So we're going to need to... Sure. You call me a friend, really? When you denounce me? It's w weird. Weird way to treat a friend, I must say. Okay, it doesn't look like we really are in much danger of being attacked by, uh, by Congo. If we were... I would feel kind of a little bit worried. We'd have to re-gear our entire economy, which is not exactly what I want to do. But hey-ho, that's fine. Oh, look, someone's decided to attack me. Another barbarian encampment has popped up. If technology is the engine of change, then nanotechnology is the fuel. Thanks, buddy. Let's confirm placement in Aberdeen. Um... Where are you currently counter spying in? Well, let's go Aberdeen, confirm placement, and then commercial district. Sure. There we go. Let's get some research on the go. I want to get the Mars stuff together. Um, let's start things off with lasers and then to nuclear fusion and all that nonsense. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, what would we get if we sent to Glasgow? Because I'm conscious of the fact that we could boost our production just a little bit if we sent something to Glasgow. Yeah, four production. Four production is nothing to sniff at. I feel that that's probably a pretty darn good idea. Let's do that. It's going to take it down to nine turns. I think it was already at nine turns in hindsight, but that's fine. Aberdeen is no longer starving. Always good. Uh, we'll get a power plant for now, I suppose. 
Is that really what we're after? I think it's probably what we're after. Yeah, eight turns for a power plant. Boost Aberdeen's production just a little bit more. What's Glasgow's production? 85 production in Glasgow, so I have no regrets about building the um, spaceport in the location that we did. Let's get a great work of art. Great. Let's go to the next turn. Beautiful. Diamonds. Sure, I'll take that. I mean, I should be extorting better deals from these people, but at the end of the day, all I really care about is making them happy. I don't really care about the price that I have to personally pay for them. Yes. Are you... Have you picked your faith by any chance? Have you picked your... Um, theocracy. No, you've, you've not picked democracy yet. Still waiting to, to catch up. Well, that's okay. The uh, the time is 1911. Never so... The Just go straight at them. Okay, great. What on earth... Uh, what on earth, what on earth uh, have we got here? Allows the transport of land between aerodrome and districts that contain airports. Military first bus, era melee, okay fine, I don't really care about that. Globalization now, which is, I think, quite good for us, isn't it? 50 production towards, no. That's pretty good. International Space Agency plus 10 science per, plus 10% science per city state that you are the cesarean of. Yep, plus one plantations, or plus two plantations. Yeah, that is really darn good. It's going to take us 13 turns. Um, and we need to build 13 airports in order to make that happen. I mean, that's not going to happen, really. Let's build a power plant. Sure. Someone has finished Broadway. That's okay with me. That is totally, totally, totally okay with me. Okay, so three people are friendly with us, one person is a declared friend, one person is an ally. That's kind of nice. If only Congo wasn't a fascist. Truthfully. Also, what did I just hear? Has eluded capture and escaped from your city of Aberdeen. Truthfully, I'm okay with that. At least it means that they're not going to be faffing around. Uh, at least it means they're not going to be faffing around for at least a little, a little time. We've got a little window of opportunity. When are our boats arriving? Our boats must almost be there. Yeah, they are. What about this city's loyalty? No, I don't really want to I don't really want to attack you per se. Yeah, I don't want to attack you, but I do want to see your loyalty. Ugh, I, do I need to do this this way? There we go. Alright, so you are still 100% loyal. And you used to be 100%, you used to be loyal, but now you're, uh, now you're not. You're completely unloyal. Don't know how that managed to happen, but hey-ho, it did. And it presents us with an opportunity to, uh, to get some, to get some uranium. Alright, there's still barbarians popping up here like there's no tomorrow. Which is fantastic. Your envoy is no longer the cesarean of, oh, really? Really? We just got that one back. Clearly, someone is uh, investing heavily. In investing heavily where it counts. Oh, you're kidding me, really? Enemy spy killed. Enemy spy from Congo during the recent part part partisan's mission. Cool. Free city of Paris succumbs to foreign pressure and asks to join Arabia. Oh my goodness, you're going to give me a, a work of art? That is an appealing offer. It's a very appealing offer. I like that a lot. I'll take that any day of the week, really. Okay, six turns away from a moon landing. Three turns away from the Manhattan Project being completed. We're about to go up and get our uranium. When God said, let there be light, he surely must have meant perfectly coherent light. There we go. Let's get someone spying. Uh... Your spy, Jane, has been promoted. Great. Well done. Well done indeed. Uh, okay, let's get you to go and attack up here. Just go for it. Definitely a, a good thing to do. Get more money. 
this is how we're financing this is how we're financing our space project we're just continually 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 attacking barbarians I must say it's great all right so I'm fairly certain I can just attack this uh, free city whenever I darn well please got a battleship incoming we got a destroyer incoming as well so that's very very nice we could build three airports in order to speed up global globalization I'm not really interested in doing that to be honest Yeah, you need an order. All right, fine. There you go. Fine. Good, good, good. Uh-oh. How? Sorry. How why did Pedro declare war on me? Ugh. What a faff. Yeah, sure. Why on earth? Why on earth would this happen? Also, what the heck is going on with the uranium spawns over here? That is crazy. And let's get ourselves... I don't really want the Venetian arsenal, to be honest. What the... What the heck is this? Who would build a city there? That's insanity. Alright, I'm gonna build... I'm gonna see if I can actually build an airport here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna see if I can build an airport there, because... That's probably the closest point that we've realistically got to Brazil. So if he brings any ships or any nonsense near us, we'll just be able to see him off with, uh, with aircraft. Let's get, sure, let's get a helicopter built over there. I still don't understand how I managed to go to war with him. But I suppose that's fine, all things considered. I suspect a couple of my boats are going to get sunk. But, I mean, he's, like, literally... I don't want to say he's literally encased. But, I mean, it is what it is. Unfortunately, oh, actually, maybe we'll be able to get um, maybe we'll be able to get Arabia to join our our fight. And if Arabia joins our fight, then that means we don't need to worry about anything really. I tell you what, I'm glad that I didn't spawn on this continent. This continent has been a hodgepodge of a mess. I think we've actually been relatively peaceful over here. I mean, sure, I know that America was, uh, you know, well deconstructed. They had three cities, but on the whole, not too bad. All right. Let's go and have a little look. Make a deal. Joint war against... Oh no, you can't join my war? You don't want to go... You don't want to go to war with Pedro. Alright, that's a little bit of a peculiar one. Not quite sure why that's happening. Seems like we're not able to get, uh, not able to get you to fight our own battles. A little bit of a shame, I must say. Oh, beautiful! We've just finished the Manhattan Project. Well, let's see if we can go and build a nuclear device. Ooh, let's do it. It's going to take us sixteen turns, but I suspect that that's still a good place to do it. I do want to start shelling this area over here. Zulu has got an ironclad. I'm afraid an ironclad ain't gonna save ain't gonna save the city. In fact, it would probably be uh, well cannon fodder for us, I guess. Excuse me. There we go. Bit of a classic approach to to warfare, but that's okay. We'll do it anyway. And let's go to the next turn. Japan has declared friendship with uh, with Brazil. My two greatest enemies. How annoying is that? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm not really worried about much, to be honest. We're going to have a nuke in, you know, 16 turns anyway. So all we need to really do is wait it out. Uh, let's get a person at the commercial district. Sure. 
All we need to do is wait it out, and then we will be totally, totally fine. How many turns away is the is the destroyer? Because I don't want I don't want the the ironclad to just sort of zip in there and retake the city. That's not my idea of a good time. I might not attack next turn just to make sure. There we go. Going to attack here. Excuse me. There we go. Toronto has declared war. Genghis Khan has declared war. All right, so someone's declared war. Genghis Khan has declared war in Japan. A little bit of an interesting... Oh my goodness, what is up with the uranium here? That's crazy. Very, very cool indeed, though. Um, something to build in Edinburgh. We'll build some... We'll build some spec ops. Sure, let's do that. And you know what, ladies and gents? Let's also call that a day here. My name is Nobody Potato. This has been Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.